So I'm playing How to Fool Boyfriend. Not sure that I said that right. And I accidentally picked a name while I was panicking and trying to uh, turn the music down. So, yes. I don't know how to play this game. Yes. I guess that's how I play this game. What is actual keyboard? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is also cracking me up. Um, yay! My bird boyfriends can all look like people. Yes. Let's see what the bird boyfriends look like as people. So apparently, St. Pigeonations is blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. Which is good to know. What do you think a, uh, <laughs> sorry. What do you think like a gym at a pigeon academy looks like? Apparently, I've been attending this pigeon academy for a year. The school is known for the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. You guys, it's really astonishing how many people dropped out as soon as I started this game. <laughs> Pigeon sports. Pigeon science. You think they could cure bird flu? A diverse blend of backgrounds and species. Whoops! Whoa, what did I do? <laughs> I don't know what I did. <laughs> I clicked a thing. <laughs> creeped out. <laughs> I think I pressed the fast forward button when I meant to like find um, the what's it called? Settings. I pressed fast forward instead. I bet settings is this little part folder down here. Hey, look at that. References. Let's turn the music down some more because it's unpleasant. I think the fast forward button is there for like if you've played it before and you just really want to get your pigeon love it on again, then you can press fast forward and skip like parts you've already seen. Ryota would like to make us breakfast. How does a pigeon make breakfast? Oh, sound effects are loud too. It would not be a live stream featuring me if it did not spend a lot of time messing with my sound. You have to go to pigeon class, you guys. Jeepers! How does a bird... I'm having a really hard time suspending my disbelief on this one. The start of a new semester, I wonder what lies in store. I'm gonna guess pigeon fucking. Ew, now I've grossed myself out with that visual. Alright. The Academy of the Pigeon by the Pigeon and for the Pigeon. The formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher's here. Hello, teacher. Oh my god, every birdie. Good morning, every birdie. Should I read out the uh, subtitles to you guys? I specialize in math and physics and also some other things. I think our teacher fell asleep. Sir, wake up. It's homeroom. He sleeps with his eyes open. Isn't that a thing owls do? Oh, it's a quail. I find math soporific too, so I can't really blame him. That's not what quail look like, you guys. I'd heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Mm -hmm. Quail mathematician. I paid money for this game, you guys. Isn't this a little bit warm in here? 
we have a transfer student. Shirogani. I'm gonna massacre some of these names. Oh my, look at the tail. That's very fluffy. Oh my. Uh, apparently Sakuya is very, very snooty. Sound like my grandma right now. I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. Education is for the lower classes. Only that's not really true, is it? <sighs> but he doesn't want to introduce himself. What is a kulak? Okay, I'm gonna Google this because I don't know what this word is. Uh, tight fisted. Uh, in Russian and Soviet history, a wealthy or prosperous peasant. So, if we let him break the rules, we will all turn into wealthy Russian peasants. Shirogani Labelle Sukuya. Labelle. If this is a regular dating sim, I would be really happy about these portraits, but because it's a pigeon dating sim, it just kind of feels weird. Any birdie. It says any birdie again, you guys. <sighs> any birdie. He's pretty stuck up. But transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. Sakuya sits down, glaring daggers at Ryota and me. I wonder, does it mean there's only three people in the teacher in the class? Because that's a very ex exclusive education. So it's like they just made like a regular dating sim in a regular school and they said, you know what'll get people to buy this? If we make them all birds. And it totally worked because tons of people are buying this game because bird fucking. Who doesn't want to fuck some birds? Me. I don't want to fuck some birds. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Lunch already. Time is slipping by so quickly. I bet the cafeteria in this academy is really unpleasant. That reminds me, I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. I do not know if my character is high. Do you think it really is like a regular school and like my character is just on super lots of cocaine? Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's- oh god, you guys, this is any birdie again. There's hardly any birdie here. Is someone looking at me? It's probably just my imagination. Okay, so check it out. This morning dove looks exactly like quail teacher. How am I supposed to tell them apart? A morning dove stands in a dark corner staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. This game just got educational. Um, did you want something from me? Maybe I should do all of her dialogue in a valley girl voice. He looked away. Not really. He wants to build a nest in my hair, watch. I'm pretty sure it was him who was like, looking at me. There's no one else here. I like it, I think I'm gonna do the valley girl, girl voice. Are you like, sure? Yes, I don't want anything with you. He totally wants to build a nest in my hair. It's the things that you're like, carrying. Oh wait, no, I don't do the valley girl voice for them. I do it for me. Hmm, it's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. If I could do different accents, you guys, I would, but I can't. Except for valley girl, cause you know, practice. He glances at the desk as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, like, sorry. <laughs> they were a little too dense, and I never finished them. The valley girl voice was a good call, I'm thinking. Were you, like, waiting for them all summer? He silently returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood? She's quick, this one. I'm like Tasaka Hiyoko, a sophomore. Like, what about you? He doesn't say anything. You, you're still not talking to me? Nageki. Fujishiro. Nageki. Freshman. Hmm. Fujishiro Nageki, huh? 
Morning doves are like pretty rare in Japan. Maybe it's just his voice, but he seems kind of sad. It's guessing it's not facial expressions that are tipping her off. Leave me alone. He's reading his book again. It's because it's a library, dumbass. It's what people do in libraries. Okay, like, sorry to bother you. I keep meeting, like, depressing people today. Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll, like, head back to class. Wait, isn't that... Ooh, ooh, guys, I think we have, like, dramatic tension happening now. Because Sakuya is like, you should have been instructed not to approach me at school. And then Yuuya is like, come on, Sakuya, what kind of thing is I to say to your own brother after all these years? <gasps> drama. <laughs> it's drama, you guys. Do you think if I date one of these pigeons, then the other pigeon will be jealous? Because I love jealousy subplots and dating sims. My brother? You must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. It's like Inuyasha, but with birds. Please don't try to talk to me again. I have no time for half-breeds. Oh my god, it is Inuyasha with birds! I'll be going now. Hey, wait just a... I guess even if we're in the same school now, what's done is done. It's very depressing. I, like, hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. The ever popular trendsetter and ladies man Sakazaya Yua, I did not say that right, is Sakuya's brother? I wonder what the story behind that is. They share at least one common parent. Hey. Are you guys bored with the Valley Girl voice? Should I stop with that? You heard that whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakuya's? Oh, screen shake. Uh, 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 I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen in on you. That's a freaking lie, because she totally meant to listen in. Haha, <laughs> no sweat, because we're birds, and birds don't sweat. Do birds sweat? Let's Google it, you guys. Do birds sweat? They do not sweat. I try to say sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies, but that there wasn't too cool. Okay, so if I have the plot of this game right, my character is a human female, and everyone else is a bird. So I'm feeling like little ladies is a little patronizing. Eh, he's cute. And an upperclassman. Every birdie knows of him. You're Hyoku, right? <gasps> he knows me. Oh, he asked how how we how we asked how he knew us. Cause we're in this together now. I know every birdie here. Besides, you're the only human. Yeah, probably a little conspicuous. A single poppy in a field of rye. Oh, he's one of those. Did you say you're a friend of Sakuya's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. I'd never have thought that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe is your brother. Wow, rude. That was just... that was rude. Yeah, see, he's like, that was rude. Aristocratic wannabe. He is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article in the flesh or in the feather. He is? He's a bit of a pain, so good luck, mon ami. Adieu. Suddenly he's French. He really is a noble bird. I'm embarrassed to be playing this in public. Not embarrassed enough to stop. I've never heard anything like that about you yet, though. Probably a twisty business. Don't they have, like, bird debrettes where you can look up, like, bird royalty? So this is apparently my last day of pigeon school. Yay! And so we're really happy to be out of school. And then, oh no, where's Ryota? 
Ryota is apparently in the infirmatory and he's sick. Now that I think about it, Ryota always did have a weak stomach. Guess he should have stayed off that red meat. I should go to the infirmary, infirmary just to make sure- infirmary, I can't read. Just to make sure he's okay. I think the four of eight in the corner means that we've met four of our potential pigeon boyfriends? Excuse me. No birdies here. Oh my god. The bird puns. There's no one sleeping behind the curtains and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. <laughs> there's nobody here. Ryota? I know there's no one here, but I'm going to call your name. No reply. The infirmary is empty. Empty. Weird, did he go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been in here much before. Unlike Ryota, I am perfectly healthy. Whoa, they've got all kinds of drugs in here. I'm sure she's suddenly super happy about that. Ethylpar, Trife, Lucio, Benzene. What do these even do? I'm surprised that they're not like character names. Care to find out? Oh my. <laughs> d -d 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 Doctor? Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, thank you. This partridge is Iwamine Shu, the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person and has a bad reputation among the student body. Wow. <laughs> He's apparently patient zero. Or like mad scientist pigeon doctor that like infects people to see what'll happen. I like this guy. Every birdie knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with aspergillus, psittococcus, psittacosis, ah, or even worse things. Ninja bird doctor, you guys. And the dance of the sugar plum fairy, ninja bird doctor, and the dance of the sugar plum fairy is his theme song. Let's take this in. You don't look like you have a good reason to be here. Maybe he took Ryota and like is like doing like tests on him because he's evil mad scientist bird doctor. I heard Ryota Kawara from 2-3 was supposed to be here. Him? He's already gone. That's um, not... That's the word I'm looking for here. Can't think of the word I'm looking for here, but it's not good. Oh. Why didn't he come find me before going home? So sorry to bother you. I'll be going home now. <laughs> you guys, the infirmary is a den of evil. Alright. Ryota's already gone home. What do I do now? Maybe go home and detox. I never got around to joining a club next last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. How do, how do birds play baseball? <sighs> Bird watching. Easiest club ever. Wasn't there another one? Anyways, I'll start with Trek. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bird track, you guys. Bird track? Alright, I ran in middle school and it's always funny watching the birds hop around. I think their club room is on the ground floor off to the side. A white dove is having a tantrum outside. Coo coo. This is no pudding for a man? I don't even know what that means. I know what man pudding could be. I don't think we're that far in the game yet. Oh, I see. We're translating pigeon. Wait, was this a pigeon? No, this was a dove. We're, we're translating dove into human. And apparently something is a vicious falsification. Maybe it's like British pudding. Maybe it's like cake. That's not very nice to the pudding. Okasan is just a bird. He's got no face. He's a hyper fantail pigeon that does not look like a fantail pigeon. I find his lack of human face suspicious.
He has suffered a deception most vile. A wretched betrayal. Betrayal? Okasan instructed that pudding be provided for new members. But this is no pudding. Ousted, scorned, betrayed, dragged into the street and shot by those he trusted most. Thinking about it. <sighs> it's squished and filthy but, filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store-bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Spare the jests, young lady. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so apparently he used wing attack. It was super effective. I'm surprised we didn't find him in the tall grass. They'll rue the day they crossed Okosan. He'll have them flayed, hanged, shot at dawn. He will. He must now train to achieve full true pudding. Farewell. <laughs> And he's gone. That was weird. I mean, even for this game. He's a good runner, but what does Pudding have to do with the track team? And so ended the first day of my second semester at St. Pigeon Nations. This must be day two. Four, eleven. Oh, maybe they're dates. Ah, uh, I thought there were going to be eight lovable pigeons. I don't know how many pigeons we can love on. Er, I think we want to choose the class council today. As you all know, the school doesn't require you to join any club. If you want to, you can, but you don't. if you don't, you're free to go home after school. Okosan has time only for the track team. That's good. What about you, Shirogani? Oh, I think this is how we pick our boyfriend and pick our club. A foolish question. I already hold a position here. We don't know. Oh, that's right. You became student president when you were admitted. That's what you just, you just like, hey, I'm coming to the school now. And I got a big tail. Oh, okay. You can be the student body president. Nepotism. Don't we get to vote? Right? Just coming to school is enough for me. Oh, see, he's sensitive, because he takes care of his mom. Hmm, I wonder what I should do. Join the... Student Council, Track Team, or Library Staff. I think this is how we decide who to romance, you guys. I don't know which way to go. If we do Student Council, maybe we can see if there's like a, a jealousy subplot. What do you guys think? I think that's how we're going. The Student Council. Alright, student council. That's everyone, isn't it? Have fun! Today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend. Let's go to gym. I want to see what pigeon gym looks like. I had to sit out the wing training. No, you, no, you won't. You won't be able to fly. Because you're human. I mean, other than being completely high. Oh, hey, I got five to vitality. Why is vitality important? <laughs> is it going to be all the birds? Are they all going to attack? I'm going to peck my eyes out? Like, does this suddenly turn into a horror game? Because I'm 100% more in if that happens. I was pretty sure I wanted to join it, but what does the council do again? We skipped the vote, and I think it's only Sakuya and me. Anyway, he called a meeting, so to the council room I go. What if I kind of wanted to romance Creepy Doctor? This looks like a CEO's office. Naturally. Do you think I would stand for anything less? <laughs> what kind of school? Like, I went to a school that had a student body president, and he did not get to be like, bitches, office. So, Sakuya, you had this done? Hmm, this room used to be filthy. Better suited to rabbits than to us. Rude. Do you think this is going to be a rabbit dating sim? <laughs> but it would be dirty. What a prig. Have you decided which position you will take? We haven't even had dinner yet. I get to choose? Racist! Alright. Aren't you Japanese too? Do not mock me. I am French. <laughs> a French noble bird? That sounds delicious. I guess I have to pick a post now. I think I'll be the... Hmm. It's 
be the treasurer. I like money. Why is that unacceptable? Where is your ambition? Are you testing yourself? You've got more backbone than that. Well, apparently I'm going to be the vice president. And so I was inflicted with the vice presidency. There isn't anybody else on the council, is there? I live in a ca I live in a cave. I live in a cave. All right, and apparently sitting at home in my drafty cave is super relaxing. Tomorrow is the class hike. Maybe we'll hike to my cave, and then I'll eat the student body president. Should I prepare anything? We won't be going far, so I don't have to. Health first. I think I'll have some udon in my drafty cave and go to sleep and hope that wolves don't eat me. Today is the hike. We stopped for a break on the hillside. Who should I talk to? Okay, so when you hike with birds, do they hop up the hill? Or do they fly and make you carry their shit? Like, what does a bird nature hike look like? Who should I talk to? Let's go Sakuya. Let's not talk to Sakuya. Why do I have to come to a- So apparently they hop. I kind of feel for him. You have to come to a place like this and on foot. It's a hike, Sakuya. You have to walk. Exercises for peasants. Hmm. I can see why hiking would not be fun for birds. Don't we have a nice view? He's like, no, fuck you. This game, man. <sighs> what a kid. Are we done with the nature hop? We are. Today's an elective day. What should I do? I shall attend music class. Music history lesson. So, oh, thinking outside of the box. Oh, flying off the handle. And then they spelled Mozart wrong. Most art, I get it. Wow. I wonder what those wigs felt like. They look like they're wearing ptarmigans. I don't know what a ptarmigan is. Google. It's a bird. I should not be surprised. Okay. Do you seek to mock the great master's low-born Philistine? Oh, I leveled up in charisma. By not punching that stupid bird in the face. In the beak. I didn't punch him in the beak. Hmm, I imagine you're all well aware, but the sports festival is right around the corner. Please think about what you'll do. Sports festival season already? What does a bird cultural festival look like? If it were in the fall, it would conflict with the cultural festival, so it's always been in May. What are you going to do, Ryota? I haven't decided, but probably the three-legged race. Some birdie has to. Okasan will handle the marathon. Indeed he will. I'm so not surprised by this. Alright. You do have a lot of stamina, Okasan. What about you, Sakuya? You can't possibly be expecting me to run in some race, can you? How about being a cheerleader? Please make him wear the skirt. Please. In general, the general in other words, that's not what cheerleaders do. Also, the first aid team is always shorthanded, so I'm sure they could use help if any birdies still can't decide. That's all for today. You ooh, you might be running the first aid tent. Well, I guess I know where I'm volunteering. What should I do? I'll have to think about it. Today's the sports festival. I never did make up my mind. What should I do? 
Well, clearly we're going to the first aid tent, you guys. Because we have to, we have to foster this jealousy, this love triangle between the two brothers. Did you come in to gaze into my eyes, Monami? Hmm. I heard the first aid team was short-handed. Salutations. Ugh, spurned for the sake of medicine. I must work harder to prove my love. <gasps> Guys, do you think evil Dr. Bird is going to be here? Anyway, happy to have you. As you can see, we have plenty of work to do. The obstacle course does always hurt a lot of birds. Why use a game designed for humans? Why do birds have a school? It's a bigger question. Tradition. Where's the doctor? Shouldn't he be here too? Over there. He's resting in the shade of a tree some distance away. It looks like he's taking notes on the performance of the birds in the racetrack, deciding who his next victim is going to be. Doesn't want to ruin his girlish complexion working in the heat. He does the same thing every year. Okay, so my current theory about this game, right, is that the school is actually a front for, like, a medical research lab. Okay. And the doctor is like the main doctor and he just constantly like researches on the birds. That's what I think. Because we're talking about talking birds. Something though. Is he taking notes on something? Oh god. A lot of the birds graduating from this school get scouted by pro sports teams, so maybe he's checking up on the promising ones. Pro bird sports. Start it. We'll be busy soon. Yes, sir. And so I spent the fourth sports festival, the fourth festival, patching up damage does with Yuya. I learned some first aid from him, so it was time well spent, I think. When does the pigeon loving start? With the festival and the midterm over, there's nothing to look forward to but summer heat. Oh god. Doves smell kind of funny when it gets human like this. Huh? There's a bunch of birds in front of the staff room. What are they doing? Oh, there's Yuya. Yuya, what's going on? Salutations, Hiyoko. Brian won his seventh Pulitzer. Seven. Wow. He gestures at a news clipping on the staff room pinboard. It says Brian, the first intelligent pigeon crowned again. Brian? Don't tell me you don't know who he is. I think I've heard the name, but... Oh, look, actual pigeon. He's the world's most famous blogger. He began when birds were barely intelligent. He's a very skilled and insightful writer. He was the one who suggested that the Dove Olympics be called the Pidge Olympics. He's extremely influential. The name was adopted right away. Why don't you look him up right now, Monami? Try Googling Brian Pigeon. Should I Google it, you guys? I'm gonna Google it. See if he has a website. I bet he has a website. All right, Brian Pigeon. Pigeon blog, telling how it, telling it how it is for pigeons everywhere. There's a whole blog, you guys. The, the most recent post is Thomas Phil in the Brighton gay gull scene. Apparently he's having trouble getting online in Brighton. It's, life's tough everywhere. Uh-oh, lunch is nearly over. Adieu, Hiyoko. Hmm, today is a good day. I feel like I'm shining. I wonder what I should do during break. Go to the... Oh my god, can we go check out Creepy Doctor? <gasps> we can! Infirmary. You again, are you ill? Um, not exactly. Then why are you here? I came here to investigate. Oh, oh god, oh god. All right, let's go hear your voice. <laughs> Good to hear your voice. My voice? Yes, you sound like Snuffkin. I don't know who Snuffkin is. And, um, don't tell me you came here just for that. Would it be bad if I did? Oh god, he's creepy. You're even stranger than I had thought. I'm fascinated. How I'd love to experiment on you. Sadly, I am busy at present. Please go elsewhere. Rude. Okay. I got kicked out. I guess being told I'm interesting is a step in the right direction. Or is it? Tanabata. 
There's probably a bamboo tree in the plaza this year, too. I think I'll go make a wish. Maybe I'll wish for an actual house with actual walls and a toilet. Wow, there's lots here already. Any birdie I know? Is she going to read other people's wishes? Because that's rude. Ne pas, Francois. Can you hear the song of the stars above? May they send you- Isn't it rude to read other people's wishes? And apparently to-do lists? I hope I'm not supposed to remember any of this because I'm not going to be. What should I wish for? <gasps> Do I want to conquer the world by force or rule the world from the shadows of my cave? Let's go rule the world from the shadows of my cave. <laughs> I wish to take the reins of power through clever schemes and rule the world from the shadows of my cave. Oh, hello. Is that you, Tosaka? I can't tell any of these birds apart. Mr. Nanaki, you should be careful out this late. It can be dangerous for a girl, you know. Yeah, I'm not about to get eaten by, like, hawks or coyotes. So... I was about to head home. Would you like me to walk you to your place? <sighs> um. Yes, please. You can hop me to my place, right? How is a how is a dove gonna help protect me? How is a sleeping dove gonna protect me on the way home to my cave? Yeah, I went home with teacher. He's the teacher guy, right? Your house is very rustic, Tosaka. I like it this way. Indoor plumbing is for chumps. Wonderful indeed. He looks a little sad. He just realized I'm homeless. Um, sir? See you tomorrow. Don't forget your homework. Your homing pigeon work. And so he left, a somewhat hollow sounding farewell echoing behind him. Or was it just my imagination? Yeah. Honey, all of this is your imagination. Oh, elective day. What should we do? We should attend. Let's get a gym class again. A rock dove is wiggling about on the surface of the water, advancing neither forwards nor backwards, and probably drowning. You can't swim? I'm doing my best. I'm going to learn before I graduate. Vitality. I'm concerned about how these stats are going to come in handy. Oh my god. All of these damp, tight clinging feathers are making my heart race. Salutations, Sukuya. The wet look suits you well. Do you mock me? I'm getting a little incestuous up in here. I'm praising you. I'm proud to have such a handsome little brother. Your very act of speaking to me is an insult, mongrel. You probably can't even swim. You guys are fucking birds. None of you can swim. Oh, I wonder. Want you to decide who's faster once and all for all, little brother? Fool, we already know who the victor will be. But to ignore a challenge would be a disgrace to my name. Very well. Mana me. Yes. Will you be our judge? <sighs> I shall judge your noble combat with all possible fairness. Of course. Just out of curiosity, who do you think will win? Probably. Oh, oh! I have to pick sides. We're going with Yuya. You know why? Because he's a dick. I think you'll win, Yuya. You're ripped, and Sakuya's all fluff. What? Why, thank you, Monami. I'll swim my fastest for you. Get set, go! They dive with perfect synchronization. They're both fast, even though their skeletal structure isn't designed for it at all. Don't birds have hollow bones? It was awfully close, but in the end... Pant, pant. So who won, Monami? 
It was almost too close to tell, but Yuya was a little faster. Knew it. Well, there you have it, little brother. I hear Sakuya grinding his beak in frustration. Pretty sure that's how birds sharpen their beaks. Oh, he wants a rematch. Always happy to take you on. It's gonna be bird rematch. Yuya looks pleased. Maybe he's happy because he got to talk to Sakuya. Today's the last day. It's been a semester already. Sometimes it would seem long and sometimes it seems short, but either way, it's summer now. I think Sakuya said to help him clean the council room before going home. You mean his royal highness's office? He always gets angry if I make him wait, so I should hurry. You're late! I hurried! I came as fast as I could, that's what she said. Sorry, Sakuya, let's start cleaning. Very well. First, move the shelf and chairs. There's dust underneath, so I have to do all the work just because I have hands. Okay. Next, inside the cupboard, arrange the files by date. Okay. And then the floor. Polish it at least three times. And the window. Hold on. Are you telling me to do all that by myself? Who else is here? You. Was that a cat? Bonehead. Maybe I should stand up to him? Yes. I'm the vice president, not the charwoman. Is that so? Oh, I bet I'm about to get demoted to charwoman. My job is to help you, so maybe you should be taking the lead role in cleaning up. Yeah, he's delegating. That's why I'm giving you orders. That's not... Here, how does a bird mop? I... you... what? You know how to use it, right? Let's get started. Don't tell me you've never... he doesn't have hands. Of course not. Talk about living in the lab of luxury. And so Sakuya reluctantly helped me clean. I thought he might complain for a while, but he certainly can be obedient. <laughs> now then, the sooner we finish, the sooner we get to go home. How do birds mop? It's the worst house ever. Why do I live in a cave? It's easy to fall out of practice and get fat and lazy during summer vacation. A hunter-gatherer's body is her way of life, so maybe I'll go running today. Okay, new theory. Um, and I'm sticking by the, the laboratory testing crazy doctor at the school theory, but maybe there was like a bird rebellion and birds took over, right? So now they have all, the, all of the um, buildings and stuff, right? And they're running government. And then like humans are like, that's why I'm living in a cave because I'm not allowed to have a house because now birds live in the houses. That's what I think. That's my new working theory of this game. Hey, look, a building. Another building. A fallen over building. Oh, this doesn't, this supports my theory. A field. Ah, that was a good run. A true running girl's way to start vacation. I wonder how far I ran. I always lose track of where I'm going once the runner's high kicks in. Where am I? idiot. It's a house. I must have wandered out of my usual stomping ground at some point. Okay. I'm gonna make a guess. I'm gonna guess that we're at Sakuya's house. Like a stalker. Which way did I come from? Oh my god. Don't fail me now, paleolithic homing instinct. The sun setting. I'd rather not sleep outside when I can sleep in the comfort of a drafty cave. Hey, you... I don't know you. Where did you come from? A sparrow stands next to me, squinting up at my face. A sparrow with jazzy music. Her wing is resting on a motor scooter. Loud, jazzy music. Pro tip, skip the job. When it's like, do you want to get a job? Be like, no, I just want to hang out in my cave. I stayed out on the town for too long and it's late. On my own, of course. Riding the stormy waves of life alone is what we humans are all about. Hey, human. Ooh, is it going to be bird thugs? It's bird thugs. Look, it's a bird biker in a bird biker jacket. <laughs> what? Suddenly, I'm surrounded by a bunch of unkempt pigeons. You go to St. Pigeonations, don't you? 
I bet a rich little girl like you gets a lot of pocket money from daddy, huh? Rich little girl going to a fancy school thinks she's so great. <laughs> Darn it, I, I can't tell them apart. <laughs> I can pick Ryota out of a crowd about 80% of the time, but rock, dugs I've, rock doves I've just met look all the same. Do you have some business with me? If not, go away. Hey, oh look, look, they're punctions. <laughs> That's not nice. Show us some cash first. Cash. They buff up their chests threateningly. Dumb punks, picking on girls in the park is a good way to get ostracized for life. Ostr I'm, I'm disappointed it didn't say ostrich sized. What? What? You little. They're angry now. My hunter gatherer instincts can feel a fight coming. Three pigeons on my own. Can I win this? Yes, they're pigeons. Hello. In my defense, I've never actually fought a pigeon, so I could be wrong. Today's the local summer festival. I think I'll go with somebody. Invite. Go with this one. Wait, I think that's the teacher. Let's do with this. I don't know who it is. Oh, he's the depressed freshman in the library. Ah, uh, going out is too much trouble. I think I'll have some udon and go to bed. I should have gotten up when I first woke up. School starts today. Oh, maybe this game will get interesting again. How long have I been playing this? Now let's look at the stream thing. It doesn't say. I've been playing forever. Oh, I've been playing for an hour and 15 minutes. So that is probably enough pigeon dating, yeah? Sorry, I overslept, overslept. She forgot her homework. Apparently she's ahead of herself. Um, school doesn't start until, what, tomorrow? Lend you a hand. Grading freshman exams. You have a test in September, so study in the library. <laughs> Why don't we help Mr. Nanaki? Thank you, I'll go make us some tea. I don't want bird tea. Grading tests in the air-conditioned staff room like a proper little lady. This tea is very good. Apparently bird tea is acceptable. It has mango in it. He likes sweet tea. This is one of those things that I'm afraid is going to come back later. I hope you had fun over the summer. Okosan is always having fun. Ryota apparently had fun working 14 jobs. Sukuya does not know the meaning of the word fun. It's for peasants. Uh, Kazuaka, Kaz Kazuaki probably slept through the summer. Yep, just like that. Focus, focus. Teach us bird math. Second term. Ooh, is there going to be a new boyfriend? Good morning. What the heck is going on? A cloud of dancing feathers. Did somebody... How? Okay. Okay. Question. How does... Do our bird overlords have down pillows? Do they have... Is it like... Is it like... Like sweatshops? Only for birds? Are there bird sweatshops? Only not sweat? Because we already established that birds don't sweat. But do they have like bird slave labor camps where they pluck them to make down pillows for other birds and isn't that kind of like kind of like cannibalism only for pillows this is a game has got some disturbing context maybe they didn't clean up properly it's molting season gross guess who's probably gonna have to clean Everybody's growing themselves new outfits. Good morning. Can we clean up? Cleaning in the morning? That's for peasants. Who was supposed to clean yesterday? The peasants, Sukuya. The peasants were supposed to clean. Ogosan was supposed to clean. But he couldn't because he was running track. Sukuya's offended by this. Ryota's like it. Everything is awesome when you're part of a team. And so we swap the room down before homeroom. School festival, a maid cafe. 
I have today off, so I guess I will go look around. You know what? I think this game is a trick. I don't think there is any any pigeon romancing. So many things to do. I can't choose. Oh, Mr. Nanaki, your shift is tomorrow. Yup. Could you help at the reception desk? Of course. I shall meet out information and directions like an oni of old, cleaver in hand, seated atop a throne wrought from the skulls of my foes. I can get behind that. <laughs> get a chair. Okay, how do pigeons move people chairs? Looks like the crowd is thinning out a little. That was tiring. Are you okay? I'm fine, just to sleep again. Preparing for classes tomorrow. And so I spent the last hours of the festival nervously watching Mr. Nanaki sleep, slipping ever lower in his chair. Ah, I handed in my recorder instead of my math homework. What do I do? Look for Mr. Nanaki, huh? Mr. Nanaki and Dr. Iwamini? Iwa, I'm sorry guys. I hadn't expected to see them together. Their nefarious plot is about to be exposed. And you see nothing peculiar about these numbers? Nothing at all. There is a statistical deviation visible in the data on students from the past few years. I had hoped to get some insight from you, but it would seem I have overestimated you. Mr. Nanaki is going to be his next victim. Io. Side with... Kazuwaki. You know why? Because creepy doctor is creepy. What do you want? What is it? I gave you my recorder instead of my homework because I am an idiot. And so you did. Here you go. Here's the workbook. Oh, and then Mr. Shu is like, dick. The, the true real life. I don't know what that means. I think I'll go home and spend some fulfilling time before going to bed. Kyoko? Ryota! You know where Mr. Nanaki lives? What are you implying, Ryota? Yes. Left his phone in the staff room. He's already left. Go catch up to him. I have to go take care of my mother. I'm not doing anything. Thank you. You're welcome, Ryota. Mr. Nanaki's phone. We don't know about his personal life. Is he always a spacey? He probably spends 97 question mark question mark of his time at home asleep. I'm going to assume that was supposed to be a percent. Hmm? A piece of paper fell out of his phone case. It is a photo of a bird with the face scribbled out. Did Mr. Nanaki do this? It doesn't seem like him. We'll just pretend we didn't see that. You forgot your cell phone. So I did. Thank you. You're welcome. Was there something else? What should I do? We're going to... Obviously, we're going to ask about the photo. I'm sorry. I looked at your stuff. Something fell out. The picture. Oh, that. Awkward silence. Not your business. But I'm curious. So what? He did? I never would have believed that he would cross something out on a picture that was none of my business. See you tomorrow! And so he left. With ominous music, music playing in the background. He has a dark side. Where's my phone? I know I had it. Maybe I left it in chemistry. The door is open. Good. Oh, creepy. Why are birds studying human anatomy? I don't see bird skeletons. I only see people skeletons. There it is, sitting where I left it. Now I'm talking to my phone because it's my only friend. Ah! What just happened? I bumped into... Oh, creepy doctor! You again. Has your life no purpose aside from meddling with me? 
No, I... What is he even doing here? He came out of the chemistry prep room. Alone, after school, in the lab? What were you doing? I left something behind. Please don't eat me. Did you see anything? Uh... I'm asking if you saw anything. What are you talking about? Would it be a problem if my team... Very well. May I ask a favor? Uh, yes, what is it? Could you bring me files? The black ones on the desk. Can't you get them yourself? They're heavy because I don't have arms. Okay, fine. I guess I get your files, creepy doctor dude. You might eat my face if I say no. Files, files, which ones? I don't see any black files. Oh, someone closed the door. Wait! I'm locked into the file room. It was a trick. Doctor, let me out. Let me out, brute, villain, fluffy heretic. Some of the dialogue in this game is pretty brilliant. No reply. I'm gonna die. Locked into the file room. He thinks I saw something I should have. This is his way of removing the evidence. I'm in despair. This evil doctor who will be probably returning with a cleaver or something has left me in despair. I'm not sure I could make it out the window, but I have to get out quickly. How can I? Footsteps coming closer. Are they footsteps or are they like claw step? What do birds have? Like they, do they call them something besides feet? Hmm. I have to hide, but there's nowhere to hide in here. Who is it? I bet it's not creepy doctor dude. Please don't eat my face. Mr. Nanaki? I hope. School is closed. Oh, I got it right. I thought I heard noises. Were you banging the door? That's not good. The door isn't a punching bag. He's quick. He's clever. I. It's dangerous in there. Well, it's not like I meant to go in there. Shoo. I asked her to go in the file room. You did? Indeed. I am very sorry. Oh, he forgot, he says, that he asked her, me to get something and locked me in. That's fucking liar. He is a liar. This whole thing stinks of ill-doing, Mr. Nanaki. But the doctor said it was an accident. Obviously, who am I going to believe? The human or the creepy mad scientist? Oh, no, he knows. Look, he knows. He's like, go home as soon as you can, because creepy mad scientist doctor is going to eat your face. I'll head home now. Career plan survey. Tomorrow. Look at the printout. How do birds load printer ink? Tosaka is a very honest, nice girl. But she is a little bit restless. I agree completely. See ya! Doctor? Don't eat my students. That was a little sloppy. You failed to pay sufficient attention to your surroundings. That's sort of- what the hell is going on in creepy bird school? Maybe they were people that got turned into birds. Just kidding. Accidents like that happen to everyone and you remembered to come let her out. Don't worry about it. Yeah, that's what happened. Nanaki knows something's up. We get our finals back today. Between midterms and practice exams, this whole semester has been nothing but tests. Tosaka, sir! Good job, we rank top of the year even though we don't know the difference between a notebook and a recorder. Oh, I outranged the French fluffy bird. Grrr. Oh, how does he's being mean to me again. Yay! I could just keep living in a cave. So that was... Yep. Happy New Year! I hibernated. Yes, we know. What a shocker. He's asleep again. You're still hibernating. Oh, sorry. Let's enjoy your junior year. It's almost over. Nothing special this semester. Third term. Okay, so I think we're all like three quarters of the way through the game. I don't have a bird boyfriend. I'm starting to think the bird boyfriend was a lie. Or maybe this is just one year? I don't know. 
The Goomantine. I don't know what that is. Oh, a bean holiday. <laughs> the Goomantines is a holiday where you give beans to the boy you like, but apparently it used to involve throwing them at pigeons. So, same, same, really. Here for beans. Yes. Bean medleys. I think I will buy the racing blend. No, wait. Swollen hemp. Calm corn. I'll buy the expensive stuff. I'll take these expensive beans. The preparations are complete. Time to give the beans to that special somebody. Mr. Nanaki, today's... Wait, I'm giving them to the teacher? The hell? What? Why am I giving beans to the teacher? Ow! My cat just bit me. You have to listen. Was that on purpose? Was... Do not understand why I just gave my romance beans to the teacher. No longer a sophomore. One thing I need to do first. Am I trying to make love to my pigeon teacher? What? What? No! What? Uh. What? He's He can't love. He can't love my poor human self. You saw it. Saw what? The photo. I suppose I should tell you. That was a picture of the most important bird in my life. But she left him. Or she died. We don't know. I can never forget. He doesn't know if he loves her or hates her. After a while, he couldn't stand to see it, so he crossed it out. He can never love again because he resents his ex so bitterly. She does not agree, and she's apparently in love with him, and I don't understand how that happened. By the way, there's one more thing I should tell you. That photo is gone. I burned it. What? Wait, so she died. And he burned the photo as an apology. Oh. Don't look up to him. Maybe when you're not jailbait anymore, we can bang. And... Let's wait till you're an adult. Okay. Graduating, growing up, and then coming back here. That will be another story. So she's like, okay, I'll wait like 10 years. Wait, that was... What? That was the end. I... What? What just happened? What? Can I... So, wait, we don't know what's up with Creepy Doctor. Right? We... What? Well, how did I end up... I feel cheated. I I was cheated. Wow. I'm like, now I'm hanging out to see if there's anything after these credits. There's nothing? There's... What may come? What? That was... I guess that was me playing Hat of a Boyfriend and mangling all the names and I don't understand what just happened. Good times! Thanks for watching. I guess I'll see you guys some other time.